G'day, you rotten lot, and thank you for tuning in again. We are still going through the uh, Hotone Ampero Mini in all its glory. Today, we are going through uh, all the speaker IRs. Now, there are 40 of them, so I'm just going to give you a little tiny taste of each one as we go through. There's actually a lot more than 40. There's actually a lot of bass IRs in here as well, and a few acoustic IRs as well. Uh, but we'll get to those in a later date. So anyway, these are all the guitar caps, there are 40 of them. We'll get through them really quick. Let's get into it. All right. I am just using the uh, Fender Basement with a little bit of dirt in the front from the Zen Garden Drive, a little bit of church reverb. This first one is a six inch speaker cab based on the vintage Supro. I've been working out how to put the Ampero uh, Mini onto my gig board, so I'm using my gig guitar, which is this Acoustic Sonic. So, uh, anyway, if you're wondering what's going on, it's got a few tuning issues I'm discovering. I've tuned it up 35 times, still a little bit out of tune. Anyway, Super 1x6. Okay, then the next one is the Tweed Chap. It's an 8 inch IR. Fender uh, Deluxe 1 by 12 cap. Fender Vibralux 1 by 12 cab. Right, so this is probably a pretty good time to tell you, you can actually move, you can see him me moving it around, the, the speaker, uh, the microphone position. That does actually have a really big bearing on the sound, so you, even though I'm just I'm showing you how they come stock uh, in the software, there is also on here a big heap of microphones to choose from, and they also make a huge difference. I like this dynamic 1x12 because it's got a bit more bottom end in it. And then, so that's really important, getting your microphone placement and your microphone right. And that last two controls I was playing around with are the high cut and the low cut. Again, if you're using a massive PA like we do at gigs with huge subwoofers, having a low cut of around that sort of 100 hertz takes all that rumble out of the guitar, which is awesome. So you're not stepping on the kick drum or the bass player's toes, which is awesome. Anyway, there you go. That's all the features in this. Anyway, the next one, uh, what are you doing here? The Bogner Shiver 1x12. This is the Bad Cat Hot Cat 1x12. Again, as you can hear, if you change the microphone and um, change the microphone position and the type of microphone, you can get a completely different sound out of it. All right, the Vox 1x12.
Vox 1x12, beautiful. The Tweed Lux 1x12. So they all sound a little bit fuzzy for me until I sort of drag it over. And then change the uh, microphone. Tiny bit fuzzy. Still nice though, the Ace 20 1x12. This model is a cabinet simulator based on the sound characteristics of the Morgan AC 20 1x12 cab. There you go. Again, just drag it over, make it dynamic. Cool once you tweak it. Right, the UK GM the no, G12M. One twelve inch Celestian from Marshall. So this one actually has the dynamic six oh nine microphone. Uh, and a slightly different placement as its uh, default settings as I've clicked on it. So maybe I should stop mucking around with those, just show them to you how they are. <laughs> Getting into the 2x12s now. Matchless Chieftain 2x12 cab. That one actually sounds pretty good on its own. I'm just going to drag it over a little, change it over to my favourite microphone. Use the high cut to take all the fizz out. Excellent. All right, the Jazz Twin. That was always going to have heaps more on it because it's for a clean. We're always going to have heaps more top end. Vintage Fender Twin Reverb 2x12. Tweed Super 2x10. Boutique 2x12. Um, it's a unique custom 2x12 camera. There you go. All right. Basement 2x12 on a uh, vintage Fender. Little 
fizzy bit up in the top registers there. Superb 2x12 based on the Super O. Superstar 2x12 based on the Mesa Boogie. Next one is based on a two rock two by twelve. Yeah, these are sounding pretty good now. Still flick it over to that dynamic one by twelve. But I only played a three-piece band, so uh, I need a little more bottom end. Uh, where are we? Uh, two twelve-inch listen. Elkino, Elkino, El Nico Blue Speak. Can you tell it's really late and I've had a massive day and I uh, can't talk properly? This is the uh, this next one is the uh, Fender Basement 4x10 cabinet. Now this is using a dynamic 57 mic and a slightly different placement there as well. I'll wiggle my mouse around it. There you go. Oh, I really like that one. Marshall 1960 A cab. Oh, check out the next one. The next Marshall cab's got a lot more bottom end, isn't it? Next one, a custom modified Marshall 4x12. This is the Marshall Cab of the Celestian Greenbacks in it. Four different flavors of Marshall there. Beautiful. Next one is Eddie, based on the 6505 4x12 cabinet, which you should be able to see. Behind me there with the bongo on top. Beautiful. <laughs> this next one is the Rectifier 4 by 12 cap from Mesa. <laughs> Bogner 4x12. Ooh, the angle 4x12, this one sounds good too. Do 
different bog in a cab. Soldano 4x12 slant, closed back cab. Orange 4x12 card. Four by twelve. No, nineteen sixty eight Marshall Cab. Oh, this is the B, B version, not A. Diesel four by twelve. Triple four by twelve. What's this one supposed to be? Hughes and Kent. Now there we go. T75 4x12 Marshall Celestian G12 T75 speakers. All right. US King 4x12. It's got to be the boogie. Yeah, Miss Boogie. That's all 40 of them. The next, that's all 40 of them. The next one is a bass cat, right? That is not going to work for us with these electric guitar amps. They're going to sound fuzzy and horrible. So, anyway, there you go. There's all 40 of them. Now, what I thought I'd do, because this video is already almost 20 minutes long, I'm just going to play one chord and just sort of flick through them pretty quickly so you can sort of hear all the differences. And if you follow the names of them along and have a look at the little things here, you might sort of get an idea of what they all sound like back to back because your ears get fatigued after a while and you can't really hear what you're hearing, if that makes sense. <laughs>
so I just want to get your head around, but if you have a listen to, say, this, uh, where am I? Where was the one I really liked? I can't remember what it was called. The Highway 4x12, just... For me, I like to knock a fair bit of the highs off here, get rid of all the fizziness that a lot of these models have around that 4000. And obviously the sort of mic you use is, makes a big difference as well. Actually, I think oh, that condenser U87 mic sounds great. Anyway, the moral of the story is, people, modelers just don't never ever accept the um, the way that each effect comes on in its stock form. Always have a play around with it, go through all the settings, have a muck around with it, then go away and listen to something, and then come back. Uh, change presets or something, come back and listen to it again because your ears do actually sort of get used to the frequencies over and over and over again. Anyway, that was it. That was all the IRs. These are the guitar IRs. There are a couple of acoustic guitar IRs and things like that in there as well. Uh, lots of bass cabs. And then there's a couple of orchestral ones. A double bass one, a mandolin. Wow. I'll turn the drive off. And the amp will flick over onto like an acoustic preamp. How about that? <whistles> anyway, I can muck around with this forever. You've probably had enough. In fact, you've probably not even got this far and switched off. But that's fine. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you have got this far, give us a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe, and all that sort of stuff. This video is well over 20 minutes long, so I'm really sorry, but there was a lot to get through. So, um, anyway, Hotone Ampero Mini. Get yourself one, get onto it, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.